Welcome back to Ground Up Guts. Today we are planting sunchoke. And that uh, the plant got its name from the flower that it produces. Looks a lot like a sunflower. And the choke comes from the edible root, which tastes remarkably similar to an artichoke. Everybody likes artichokes. Um, they are perennial, and they are edible, and they are a superfood. So I want a bunch of them. And that's good because the Jerusalem artichoke or the sunchoke is a prolific producer. Uh, they will spread a lot. Well, they, they are super easy to grow. You, I'm going to plant them uh, deep and far apart so they have plenty of room to spread. You can see I haven't watered these at all and they just started growing. Um, now if you're going to order them, you need to um, be ready to plant them, have your spot ready to go. Um, have something to store them in, which I did here, or be ready to eat them. Now, to store them, uh, when they were shipped out, um, put a layer of compost, put my roots down, a layer of compost, my roots down, put a layer of compost, and that was it. They were they were storing just fine over the winter. Um, the freezing temperatures out here didn't hurt them at all. But as soon as I put heat on this front porch, they started growing. I haven't watered them at all. They just started growing. But um, we're getting close to first frost, so I'm ready to plant them. Now I'm going to mulch, I'm going to plant them deep, and I'm going to mulch them in really well so um, nothing is harmed if they pop up before first frost. Uh, they can grow in a lot of zones here, just pretty much anywhere in North America. And uh, well, let's go. This is where I want to plant them. There's a stump here. And uh, it's not so easy to mow around, so I'm going to put a nice barrier around it of sunchokes. I would rather hit a sunchoke with my mower than a stump. Okay, you can order juice from um, Jerusalem artichoke sunchoke online. Uh, we bought these last fall, and they were going for like $20 for a pound. Um, I remember thinking, a pound, that doesn't sound like a lot, but... As you can see, one pound is quite a bit. And, okay, each one of these eyes, every one of these eyes is going to produce a new edible tuber. Okay, we have our uh, ditch dug here, and we're more than seven inches, obviously. Anywhere we're more than seven, I'm going to throw some compost in the bottom of the hole. So, um, I know I have plenty of food for these delicious sun chokes, and let's go. There we go. Now, I don't want this taking off too fast and uh, getting hit by frost so I'm going to clip him off right there and these are going right on top of that compost got to plant it all the way around this stump now there's quite a few here that have root on them I want to try a little experiment and just just pot that inside back up in the uh, front porch greenhouse area. I want to see if that will take off. We'll see. Okay, now it's time to cover it up. Okay, we're all mulched in. You can see I went really deep. Uh, this isn't wood mulch, this is straw and the remainders of hay from the goat shelter. So it's got plenty of manure, fertilizer in it, nice and thick. So hopefully uh, they will.
will just be poking their heads through this right after the first frost is done, um, hopefully in late April. And if you like what we're doing here, go ahead and like the like button. Like the like button and subscribe if you want to see what we're going to do to our farm next. Have a good day.